that God is good and he is worthy to be praised. We're grateful and thankful to be here once again. And we're grateful to see each and every one of you. We pray that all is well with you all. We come to bless the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. the heavens and the earth because God you are great and you're worthy. We thank you for this day, our lives, our health and our strength. We thank you for everyone that is here. We pray that you bless their homes and bless their families, bless their minds, help them God to overcome everything that's not like you. Be strong and mighty in their, oh God, in their lives and in their homes and in their families and God help them and direct them in the way that they should go. We thank you, God, for knowing that you are the great God and there is none like you. And God, we bless your wonderful name. For you even taught us and gave us the words that we should say and pray to you, which is our Father, which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Give us, O God, this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt to us. Lead us not, O God, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Oh, God, is yours forever and ever. We thank you. Thank you. We bless you and we yes. praise you, yes. knowing that you are able yes. to do all things. Yes. And, God, we trust and depend on you, you not word. just you, but your word. Yes. We thank you for all your many blessings, and we thank you for the thank strength you. that you give us. Thank you for grace and mercy yes. that you renew for us on this day. Yes. And we ask that those that come into this sanctuary, this house of worship, oh God, that they give you everything that you deserve. That we don't hold back. That we don't sit down on our praise. God, but we lift our hands and we open our mouths. And we tell you thank you. And God, we worship you in trueness. And we worship you, God, knowing that you're able and that you're God. And you deserve each and everything that we give to you. God, we bless you. We ask that you continue to keep every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl. Protect us, God, even when we leave this place and we go back to our homes of safety. That you give us traveling mercy and arriving grace. We ask that you bless the word that will be preached today and every song that will be sung and every scripture that will be read. And God, as we take, oh God, in, oh God, the, the opportunity that you've given us to be able to take and give to those that will take your supper today, that we be blessed, that we examine ourselves. And that, God, we offer up what it is that we need to offer up to you. And that we get forgiveness for anything that we've done that's not like you. We bless you. And, God, we praise you. We give you honor. And, God, we lift up your name. This is our servant prayer. And all of God's people say amen. 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 Come on, let's give God, God another hand. Amen. Amen. Amen.
morning, St. Matthew. Good morning. Good morning. This morning as we prepare for our scripture reading, those of you able to stand, we ask that you stand. Our scripture reading be coming from Matthew, St. Matthew verses, St. Matthew 5 verses 1 through 7. St. Matthew 5 verses 1 through 7. And it reads, And seeing the multitude, he went up into the mountain, and when, they, when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be fulfilled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Verse 8, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall seek God. Amen. Amen. May be seated. May the Lord have blessed to the readers and hearers of his just real words. Thank you. Good morning, church. Good morning. We're going to continue our devotional service by singing hymn 350. Come ye that love the Lord and let your joys be known. Join in a song of sweet accord and thus surround the throne. Let those refuse to sing who never knew our God, but the children of the heavenly king may speak their joys abroad. I'm going to skip the third and move on to the fourth. Then let our songs bound and every tear be dry. We're, we're marching through Emmanuel's ground. Farrier works on high, the world on high. What, what is it saying? Come ye.
let the songs and every tear be dry. Father God, we lean in the 
about it, you're going to wake up this morning. Hey, hey. So, I need to thank the Lord for waking us up this morning.
Amen. Stay on Jesus. Amen. Grateful to the Lord. Amen. Get your Bibles real quick. Get your Bibles real quick. Amen. I don't know about you, I got a mind. Amen. Keep on running. Amen. I got a mind to keep on running. Amen. To see what the end gonna be. Anybody know the end is coming? Amen. The Bible declares that the Lord is coming quickly. And his reward is in his hands. I don't know about you, amen, but I want what God has for me. Anybody can declare, I want what God has for me. Amen. Everything that God has, amen, I want. Amen. Especially those things that are for me. Because, because what God has for me. Yeah. You can't have it. Amen. You can't take it. And the devil of hell can't destroy it. What God has for me. It's for me, man. Get your Bible real quick. Go with me to the 13th Psalm. 13th Psalm. There are times where uh, there are times where don't let no preacher tell you this. There are times where um, God won't give you nothing. I mean nothing at all. Then when God don't give you nothing, I try to put something together real quick. And I toiled with trying to put something together. And God said no. Amen. So today, this might not have uh, many extravagant points. Amen. But this is what God said on Bashur in the knee. And I said, okay. So God is real close here. Amen. Yeah. You know, I'm one, I don't like to. I don't like to be unprepared. So I said, God, if you're going to do it, then you're going to have to speak. So here's what the Lord said. Psalm 13 over there. Amen. To the chief musician, it's a psalm of David. It's called the deserted soul. How long will thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? How long will thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart? Daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me. O oh Lord my God, lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Let my enemies say I have prevailed against him. And those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. Here's what the Lord said to me. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Before you sit down, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm going to do it no matter what. God, in the name of Jesus, yes, here we are as empty pictures yes. before a full fountain. Yes. We've come from our safe places. Yes. We've come from our homes. We've come from situations and circumstances to the house of prayer. Yes. We've come, God, not for form, not for fashion, not for ritualistic reasons, but we've come to give you glory. Yes. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you walk up and down the aisles. Yes. That you'll touch, oh God, in the name of Jesus, all that are under my weak voice. Yes. Today, oh God, we need to hear from you. Yes. We don't need to hear Pastor K, but God, we need to hear from you. Yes. For God, we know that your word can save sinners. Yes. We know that your word can reclaim backsliders. Yes. We know that your word can encourage believers. Yes. So speak now, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you load me down into your storehouse of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Pray, oh God, that you would bring conviction today through your word. Bless your people now in the name of Jesus. Someone is hurting God. Deal with the hurt in the name of Jesus. Someone's eyes are filled with tears. I pray, oh God, that you would wipe away tears in the name of Jesus. Someone is troubled, perplexed, and complex. But God, I know that you are a way maker. I know that you are a miracle worker. I know that you are a problem solver. I know that there's nothing too hard for you, God. So now, God, in the name of Jesus, help us to lean not to our own understanding, but help us to acknowledge you in all of our ways. Speak now, God, in the name of Jesus. Do, oh God, what only it is that you can do, God. Move by your spirit, God. Move by your power, God. In the name.
merciful God. Be kind God. Do oh God. What only it is that you can do. And when it's all said and done. When we can't pray no more. When we can't sing no more. When our eyes close and never open again on this side. When our mouths close. When we must put down our sports never to study war anymore. We pray in the name of Jesus that we'll be able one day to behold your face. And when we see your face, oh God, we don't want to hear you say, depart from me. I know you're not. But God, we're living this life so we can hear you say, well done. That good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up a little higher. I'll make you rule over many. Bless and keep us till that day. And we'll be careful and mindful to give your name the praise. The glory and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. and amen. God bless you. Come on one more time. Put your hands together. And clap your hands for the presence. you can be at ease. God bless you. Thank God for you. We are certainly grateful to the Lord for what he has done. Thank God for each of you, my brothers and sisters who are here. He can have me if I needed water. I said, no. <laughs> he got water anyways. Amen. Thank God for the water. Praise God for these preachers. Amen. Thank God for these deacons. Amen. Thank God for these ushers. Amen. Thank God for each of you, my brothers and sisters yes. who are here. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. David shows us us in these six lines of the 13th Psalm. David shows us us. How often, how often, don't raise your hands, don't make no noise. Don't look at nobody. Just look at me so nobody don't think nothing less of you. How many times have you been mad at God? Don't say that. Don't say that. How many times have you been in situations in your life and it seems as if God himself has walked away from you? How many times have you said, God, this is me, now, Conrad McCree Jr., this ain't nobody else. This is me and God. I'm at a place and point in my life where it seems like you have forgot about me. I know that you've got the whole world in the palm of your hand. We say it all the time. You've got the wealth of the world in the palm of your hand. You've got, you've got a thousand cattle. You've got the hill. You've got everything under control. And although we say his eye is on the sparrow, sometimes we believe that God has forgot about us. You ain't got to say amen to me. You ain't got to agree with me because I know for myself that there have been times in my own life where it has seemed like there is so much going on, surely God could not care about me. Yeah, there, is, there is problems here, and it seems as if the more, the further I get ahead, the further back I become. It seems like every time I take three steps forward, I take 29 steps back. Seems like no matter how hard I try, just don't seem to get no better. Seems like there are times where, there are times where, God, if you love me like you say you do, yeah, then I wouldn't be where I am right now. Here's what the Lord showed me in these six verses. Six lines, if you will. These six lines are broke up into three separate parts. Look at this. This is only God could do this, y'all, because I, I couldn't do this. Line one and line two are confessions. Look at this. David says, how long will you forget about me, Lord? Are you going to do it forever? How long are you going to hide your face from me? He says, how long should I take counsel in my soul? How long shall I have to deal with this sorrow in my heart? Am I going to have to go through it every day? How long are my enemies going to be exalted over me? David confesses in these first two lines that he does not know what's going on. I want to submit to you today, brothers and sisters, that in the life that we're living right now, none of us know what's going on. Marvin Gaye sang a song 
don't say, what's going on? Yeah, mama's doing this, daddy's doing this. He said, but what's going on? And if we really be honest with ourselves, we've got to confess that we don't know. Get over yourself thinking you know what's going on. You don't know the answer. You don't know the way. Stop trying to figure it out on your own. Confess that God, I need you. As a matter of fact, isn't it amazing that in order for us to receive salvation, one of the things that we must first do is confess? What is confession? Confession is being honest with yourself and with others. See, oftentimes, oftentimes, we can be honest with ourselves and know we're telling a lie. But we won't be honest with others. And we will believe the lie and will make the lie our truth. So that when we begin to tell it to other folk, we don't understand why they don't believe it because we have adopted it as true. Come on, y'all, say amen to me today. Maybe you ain't never been there, but there are some of us who can admit that we have told some things that we really believe and we knew it was wrong, but we've told it so many times, we believe it to be true. Yeah. David, David confessed. His first two lines, God, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how long this problem is going to persist. I don't know how long I'm going to have to deal with this. I don't know how long my enemies are going to triumph over me. I don't know. I don't know, God, how long my heart is going to be filled with sorrow. And let's be honest, I've gone to some people and I've tried to explain to people and they can't tell me either. How many times have you gone to someone asking them how long this situation is going to be and people will tell you things, but the truth of the matter is no one knows but the Lord. As much as I love the Lord, if you come to me for counsel, I can't tell you how long your storm is going to be. But I can tell you that God is able to take care of you. Is there anybody this morning in St. Matthew who can declare that even though the storms in life are raging and even though the clouds hang low, so low, I can hardly see the world. I've learned to still say, God, I thank you. Line one and line two, it's confession. Line three and line four is supplication. Look at this. Look at line three and line four. He says, consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, for I sleep, lest I sleep, the sleep of death. He says, let my eyes say I have prevailed against him. And those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. Listen, David, David acknowledges in these first two lines, this is his reality. This is important. Don't miss this. Because sometimes what we will do, I ain't going to get too many amens right here. Sometimes what we'll do is we will pretend like everything is okay. Amen. 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 We'll act like everything is great. My grandma said we picking tulips by the wayside. We tipping through the rose garden of life with our rose colored glasses. We're pretending like everything is okay because we don't pe want people to know that our lives really are a mess. We don't want people really to know that we are crumbling on the inside. We don't, we don't want people really to know that we really just one, one day away from giving it all up. I wish I had some help here today. Who can testify that although I'm smiling on the outside, really on the inside, I'm falling apart. I don't know which way to go next. I don't know how to make it through, but I'm just giving up every day, getting dressed, trying to make the best of the day. But really, I realize I need the Lord. Is there anybody who can testify it looks good on the outside? Don't push me. Because I'm at the edge. And if you push me, I might give you something 
that really ain't for you, but because you provoked me. Come on, y'all. Because you got me to that point. Come on, Bible study. And that's why I must live humbly. Because if I don't live humbly, what's going to happen is you're going to mess with me and I'm going to unload on you. And I'm going to give you everything I got. I know it looks like everything is together. I know it looks like I'm doing well. But if you really only knew, that's why you ought to be careful when you say, I wish I had your life. You don't know the things that that other person is going through. You don't know the things that other person is struggling with. You see the good, but you don't know what they're really going through. You don't know the tears that they're crying. You don't know the struggle that they're going through. You don't know how they're making it from one day to the next. That's why you got to be careful what you say about folks. But you don't know what it takes to make it look good. You don't know how, how that person got to get up in the morning and got to encourage their own self. You, you, you don't know what that person is going through to go to bed at night. You don't know what that person is going through when they wake up in the middle of the night and all the troubles that they went to bed with are still there. You don't know. So... David offers to us supplication in lines three and four. He says, God, God, I've confessed my problems. I've confessed and acknowledged my reality. I've confessed that I am, I am a wayward and I'm a person without direction other than from you. So he offers supplication by then saying, now God, I would that you would consider and hear me. Understand that when you bring your problems to God, stop allowing people to make you believe that God cannot hear you. Stop, stop allowing people to make you believe that you should not ask for what it is that you're asking. Stop, stop allowing people to deduce you and make you minimize what you believe. I don't know about you, but I serve a God who is able to do exceeding and abundantly above what I can ask or think. I serve a God who is so concerned about me and concerned about everything in my life that regardless of what I'm facing, regardless of what you think about me, regardless of what you say about me, because he loves me, he takes pleasure in giving me the thing that I ask. And I know that when I ask according to his will, is there anybody who knows that he's able to give me what it is that I need from him? He's a God of miracles. He's a God that does above what I can ask. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. He's the God that makes me a lender and not a borrower. He's the God that says I'm the head and not the tail. He's the God that heals of all of my diseases. He's the God that is able to turn my midnight into laughter. He is God. He always will be. Tell your neighbor, say he is. Oh, tell him, say he is. And he always will be. He is. Hallelujah. And he always will be. He's the lifter up of my head. He's my burden bearer. He's my trouble solver. He's my friend when my friends walk away. He's my battle axe in the time of battle. He's my shelter in the time of a storm. He and he always will be. He is. And he always will be. He's the great I am. He's the wonderful counselor. He's the mighty God. He's the prince of peace. Matthew called him Emmanuel. He is God with us. The angel called him Jesus. He's the one that will save his people from their sins. He is. He is. Y'all ain't got that yet? That should have made somebody jump right there. He is, and he always will be. He is, and he always will be. Come on, shake somebody's hand and say, he is. Come on, y'all ain't helping me today. Shake somebody's hand like you mean it. Say, he is, he is, and he always will be. Oh, please say, shake him like you mean it. He is, and he always will be. He is, and he always will be, whatever I need. Y'all know who I'm talking about, don't you? Y'all know who I'm talking about, don't you? I ain't talking about mama. 
opened up the Red Sea. Come here, children of Israel. He's the one that allowed men to fall from heaven. What is it? He's the one that healed you when you didn't think you could get well. He's the one that rocked you to sleep at night. He's the one that dried a tear from your eye. Anybody know him? And he always He's the joy and strength of my life. He's the reason I can keep going forward. He's the reason I can smile when I feel like letting my head down. He's the reason I can go from day to day because he is. David says, consider. And hear me, Lord. Because you're my God. He says, lighten my eyes. Because if you don't, if you don't open my eyes, I'm gonna sleep the sleep of death. You know you can be alive and dead, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you can, you know you can be alive and dead, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Dead man walking. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Some folk, some folk, some folk are dead. Yeah. Yeah. Completely dead. Nothing excites them. Nothing encourages them. Nothing gives them any hope. They're dead. Dead because they don't believe it's going to get no better. Dead because they don't see it getting any better. Dead because they have accepted the pronunciation that their life is over. But I came this morning to tell somebody that God is able to lighten your eyes. What am I mean? God is able to help you see what you can't see. Is there anybody who can declare that he ain't no Just ain't good 
another. It seems like you're going to lose. And it seems like God has forgot about you. I know I'm not the only person who's ever been here right now. It seems like I tried and I tried. Oh, help me close, man. Seems like I've done all I know how to do. I prayed and I prayed. I cried and I cried. I served and I served. And it still seemed like things ain't getting no better. I spoke to people who didn't speak to me. I've done right to people who didn't do right to me. I gave to people who only took from me. I've encouraged people who only tried to discourage me. And here I am, God, at the end, and it seems like I am going to But after I made my supplication, after I made my confession, after I've done all of that, I learned that the last thing I've got to do is I've got to give some adoration. What do you mean I've got to give some adoration? I don't know about you, but I made up in the mind that you can talk about me as much as you please. You can lie on me as much as you please. You can tell whatever story you want to do about me. But the more you talk, the more I'm going to bend my knees. The more I'm going to tell God how much I appreciate it. Is there anybody here today who can make up in their mind that I trust in the name of the Lord? That it won't always be like this. Because the Lord is going to perfect everything that concerns me. And no matter what, I'm going to still give God the praise. I may complain sometimes, but I'm going to still tell God thank you. Come on, can you practice right now? Tell God thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It don't feel good, but thank you. It don't always sound good, but... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you thinking for? Thank you for waking me up this morning. I realized somebody didn't wake up, but God, you woke me up. And when you woke me up, God, thank you that my eyes opened up. Thank you that my mouth is still working. Thank you that my hands are still working. I may not be moving as fast as I want to be, but God, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If we would learn to say thank you in place of our complaints, if we would learn to say thank you in place of our troubles, I was driving this morning. Thank you, God. I got through Talking Springs. I got to about the edge of Palm Harbor. I was doing good. Didn't have not. I'm old, old 19. Had. Can I just talk how I feel, y'all? I really know how to talk. Proper English. I just, sometimes it's easy to talk how I feel. I was, I was driving out all 19. And I got to that Paul Paul. And I was going. I ain't have nail light. I ain't stopped that. I was just cruising down the road. This lady turned on in front of me. Wasn't nobody behind me. Just turned in front of me, driving, taking the scenic route. She couldn't have been driving no more than about five miles an hour. I'm driving, and I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for keeping my hand from laying on this horn. Thank you, Lord, for slowing me down because there's something you want me to see. 
I don't know what it is, but thank you. I got to all 19 and Curlew, Tampa Road. I got to the corner of Tampa Road, and on the side of a road, there was a lady with a sign and about three little children. The sign said, we're really hungry. We're not pretending. If the car in front of me hadn't gotten in front of me, I'd have made the light. If I had made the light, I wouldn't have stopped. If I hadn't stopped, I wouldn't have saw the sign. But my mind went even further back. Can I help y'all? Help us. Woo! Help us. My mind went to Miss Kinnear. Yes. Miss Kinnear was my first grade teacher. Miss Kinnear taught me how to read. If I hadn't gone to school, yeah. if I hadn't paid attention, I wouldn't have been able to read. If I hadn't been able to read, then when I stopped, I wouldn't have thought what the sign said. Y'all missing this this morning. And sometimes what we're doing is we're thanking God for right now. But sometimes we ought to remember what he did a long time ago. Have I got a witness this morning who can tell God, thank you for 25 years ago. Thank you for how you kept me, God, when I couldn't keep Thank you, God, for what you're doing right now. Thank you for slowing me down, God. Helping me to understand, God, that sometimes I'm going so fast that I can't even see the stuff I need to see. Thank you. I don't know how long, but thank you. I don't know how long I've got to struggle, but thank you. Why do I thank you? Because I would always struggle. And when I get out of the struggle, I remember what it felt like when I was in the struggle. And maybe when I get out, I'll have another thank you. Somebody ought to understand that you're not stuck right now, but God is holding you. He's holding you. Anybody know God is holding you? He's keeping you. He's strengthening you. He's helping you. But you got to learn how to say God, even right here. I trust you. Even right now, I thank you. Somebody ought to go into a personal praise right there. And you ought to still tell him, God, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing for me. I don't understand it, God. It don't feel good, God. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. But God, I thank you. As a matter of fact, I'm not worried about getting out of it. I just want you to keep me while I'm in it. And while I'm in it, God, you're strengthening me. While I'm in it, God, you're helping me. Is there anybody who knows that right now God is giving you strength? That right now God is holding you up? That right now God is blessing you? You don't feel like it, but you're blessed. He's doing it. I declare he's doing it. He's doing it right now. Woo! He's holding you right now. He's holding you right now. Baby, the reason you ain't failed is because he's holding you. The reason you ain't gave up is because he ain't letting you. The reason that you're able to go on is because he's pushing you. Because there's something on the inside that's working on the outside. It's bringing about a change in your life. It's God that's giving you the wherewithal. It's God that's letting you move forward. You would have given up, but he's keeping you. You can't do it. You can't do it on yourself. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege. What a privilege. I feel like crying, y'all, and shouting and laughing all at the same time. What a privilege it is to carry everything, everything. Come on, everybody standing. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Reverend, that sounds good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for Jesus, though. Yeah. They can have our thank God for Jesus. Yeah. Because, yeah, when it looked like the clock was, was out. 
When it looked like death had won. When it looked like sin had won. He went to the cross obediently. He suffered, bled, and died. But thank God that what should have destroyed him really propelled him. Please don't miss this. And all of us right now, some of us are bearing our crosses. Yes. Our hands are nailed to crosses. Yes. Our feet are riveted to crosses. Yes. And the enemy believes that the cross is going to kill you. But you ought to tell yourself that because Jesus bear a cross, yes. I will too. Yes. Watch this. The cross is what lifted Jesus up. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to me. What decided him, what was thought was going to kill him, lifted him up. What destroyed him on earth, actually, brothers and sisters, opened up the veil in the temple. See, the cross is what gave us access. So now, even though we are burning in heaven, lady, because of the cross, the thing that should have destroyed Jesus, it gave us access to the mercy seat. And so whatever you're going through right now, it's not meant to destroy you. It's lifting you up. The cross lifted Jesus above the earth. That's why Jesus died between heaven and earth. It does not say that Jesus died on earth. He was on the cross. He was lifted up. You and I are lifted up yeah. above our problems. Watch this. We will come down just like Jesus. And we will look like we're buried in a tomb. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank God, thank God that the tomb is really only an entrance. The tomb is a holding place. Watch this. So that when we go through what we've got to go through, can anybody declare that one day we're going to get up from there? Yeah. yeah. One day I'm going to get up from my troubles. One day I'm going to get up from my trial. Anybody know that he got up early on the third day? He got up with power. Not just some power, but all power. The power, brothers and sisters, that is available to you and I. Listen to me. You're going to have to confess. You're going to have to go through periods of supplication. But don't let your confession and your supplication keep you from adoration. Amen. 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 Never get to the point where you are so sad that you can't give God praise. Yes, no matter what, understand this, that he's still worthy. It don't feel good. I don't know how and why, but I'll still give God praise. Today, wherever you are, wherever you are, today's communion. And even before that, I want us to get our hearts and minds ready. I've been saying this for a while now, and I hope you all will receive this. God wants to do great things for you. He really does. He really wants to do great things for you. Do you know that the Lord's table, this, this that we do, is more than a ritual? Yes. Jesus thought so much of his disciples yes. that he decided that they need to have one last dinner together. Mm -hmm. He told his disciples, he said, we're going to do this now. And the next time we do this, yes. we'll be in paradise. Yes. He told them that you're going to yes. take this bread. He broke the bread yeah. and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. I'm reminded of the potter and the thing that the potter was making. When the potter made it, he realized it was not what he wanted it to be. The potter did not just throw it out of his hands. The potter kept it in his hands. He broke it apart, but it stayed in his hands. The bread that we eat, God, Jesus rather, didn't just break it and throw it down. He broke it and kept it in his hands.
that he gave to them. He said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. He blessed it, though. Yes. What does this have to do with Psalms 13? Do you not know that God blesses even your troubles? Yes. Amen. 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 your struggles are blessed because God allows them to happen. The blessing though is although the, the struggle and all the burden is blessed and broken listen, listen, it's still in his hands. That's why you can still tell God, thank you. Because I'm broken but I'm still in your hands. I'm destroyed but I'm still in your hands. I'm I, I feel like I'm cast down but I'm still in your hands. And as long as I'm in your hands a cup. He said, this cup is in the New Testament. My blood, which is shed for you. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The bread and the blood. The bread and the cup represent the body and the blood. What then can we get when we take of his body and drink of his blood? We can be whole. We can be helped. We can be delivered. We can make it through. I say this every time. And I hope y'all get it at some point. Don't take this today and just think of this as a wafer and some juice. Amen. Amen. Take this today and understand that what I need, I can get yes. from this cup. Amen. Before we go there, is anyone here today who needs prayer? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior. Maybe you don't know him as a Redeemer. Maybe you don't know him as a Savior. Maybe you say, I hear y'all talking about it, but I don't know him that way. Come on. Come on. Just come on. Come on. Yeah. Maybe you say, uh, you know what? I think I know him, but I'm not really sure. Come on. Maybe you just need someone to agree with you in prayer. Come on. If we do nothing else, we are afraid. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come because you can't come. Come because he said come. Come because you know he's able. And you know he can. Come because you realize that there is nothing that I can go through. He can't take me through. Amen. There's nothing I can face. There's nothing I can encounter. Amen. There's nothing that God is not able. He's not big enough. You not believe that? Amen. That God is bigger than you. Yeah. Bigger than your troubles. Yeah. Bigger than your struggles. Yeah. Bigger than your pain. Yes. He's bigger. Yes. And because he's bigger, I know he can make me better. Because he's bigger, I know he can take me through it. But I don't have to, I don't have to struggle with this by myself. I don't have to deal with this by myself. But I have a God. I have a God who's able. Come on, put on your heart and your mind. Right now. Queen's anointing with oil. Put on your heart and your mind. Come on, y'all. Put on your heart. Come on, make your confession. Come on, confess it. Confess. Lord is bigger than me. Come on, confess, confess. Right within yourself, God, you know, I can't do this by myself. I'm trying, God. The more I try, the worse it seems to be. My confession is, God, I need you. God, I need your help. I need your strength. I need the peace that only you can provide. I need the help that only you can provide. I'm tired, God. I'm tired, 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 oh God, I'm going through the motion, I'm tired, I'm tired, oh God, I'm feeling hopeless and hopeless, I'm tired, God, I'm tired, my supplication and request to you, oh God, is that God, you would do something about this, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I know you can, I don't know when you're going to do it, but I know that you will. I know that you didn't bring me this far to leave me. I know, God, that you're able to work out every one of my problems. You're able to touch me right where the pain is. You're able to deal right where the problem is. Because there is a fountain that's filled with blood that flows from Emmanuel's veins. And sinners can plunge beneath that flood and can lose all their guilty sins. Thank God you know. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Tired of 
walking around like everything is good. I'm tired of falling apart on the inside. I'm tired of trying to make things work that ain't working. I'm tired of trying to put things together that ain't to be put together. And God, I need your help. Because if you don't help me, I'm going to mess up. So God, I'll give you this admiration. Yeah. Thank you. I'll give you this adoration. Come on, declare with your mouth. God, I trust you. God, I trust you. I trust you with my life. I trust you with my plans. I trust you with my family. I trust you with my body. I trust you with my mind. I trust you with my sorrows. God, I trust you. Come on, do you really trust him? Do you really trust him? Come on, you really trust Come on, do you really trust him? God, I trust you. We thank you today, oh God, for these who are here. We thank you, oh God, for everything that we brought to your altar. We thank you, oh God, for every trial and tribulation. We thank you for every tear. We thank you for every pain. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would look on us as only you can. Open our eyes and help us to lift up our eyes to the hills from which cometh our help. We declare, oh God, that all of our help comes from you. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to not lead to our own understanding. Help us to acknowledge you. Help us to make it through. Yes. Help us to go on. Yes. Help us to be stricken. Yes. Help us, oh God, yes. as only you can. Yes. Do, oh God, yes. what only you can do. Yes. Move, oh God, as only you can move. Yes. Strengthen, oh God, as only you can strengthen. We don't want to just make it through the day, but we want to make it through the rest of our lives. Yes. And we know that you are able. Yes. Help us, oh God, not to depend on other things. We don't want to depend on alcohol. Want to depend on pills. We don't want to depend on anything else but God. We want to depend on you. Do it for us, God. Do it for us, God. And we will be careful and mindful to give your name the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In the strong and mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And we ask all these things. Amen. 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 Come on in class, say, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe and I will receive, I will receive everything, everything that I believe. I believe. Come on, we receive the word of joy. Come on, right there.
undefeated, yes, he is. and you will not lose. Amen? Amen. We're going we're gonna to shift. We're going to move to our communion. I pray that you will prepare your hearts and your minds. I pray that you will allow yourself to receive what it is that God is doing. I pray that you will remember that you will remember that this is a holy time. Just as I worship this holy, this is a holy time. And so I pray that, that we will be careful with our speech, that we're not talking. Uh, be care, pray, pray that we're careful that we're not moving, uh, but that we are, we are recognizing the holiness of what this is. And we're doing what it is that we believe honors God in the remembrance of what he did for us. Amen? Amen. I know it was the blood.
all been served? They might need help. Amen. The Bible declares that some of you need that Jesus took bread. He broke it. He blessed it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. We eat the bread. At the same manner, he took the cup. He said, this cup is in the New Testament, my blood, which is shed for you. We drink the cup. As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth the Lord's death to the cup. Amen. This may be the last time.
and God did what you needed to do, and we're grateful. And for those that weren't able, we're grateful for you too as well. Um, the anniversary will be October 15th. Of course, you all know we're having a banquet after um, the anniversary. We also made an announcement on last week that if anyone wanted to do a presentation to the pastor, the day of the anniversary, during this service, you can do your presentation then. Um, well, I thought it was going to be, okay. See, that's why we all need help, right? During the, so it's going to be during the banquet. Okay, so you do your presentation at the banquet. If you would like to do any type of presentation, you know, if you want to say something, we're asking that you let us know. Um, we the, the um, committee so that we can make sure you have the opportunity to do that. Um, we just want you to be kind of respectful and not get up and sing dirty songs and, you know, um, quote 50 um, poems and all that. But we just be respectful for anyone else that decides or wants to do any type of presentation. But we want to say we thank you. Um, Sister Shaka Ford is not here, but we want to recognize her as part of the culinary person who's going to help prepare the food. Um, and we're grateful that everyone that stepped up to the plate and that is participating to make this anniversary a success. We know that next year is number 10, so we want to make it even bigger and we want to make it even greater. Um, so for those that, you know, um, next year, maybe you can budget yourself and have a plan and you can give a little bit at a time so you can meet your quota. That, that way you don't have to give it all at once. Um, it's just a suggestion. But we're grateful and thankful for those that have stepped up to the plate and did what they needed to do to make this anniversary successful. We're almost at the end. Um, everything has come together so well, and I want to salute um, everyone that has participated. Sister Campbell and, and Brother Campbell has really stepped up and has made this um, a, a very great success of a, a anniversary. We thank God for Mr. Covington. We ask that you continue to keep her in prayer. Amen. She's a little bit under the weather, and so she has not been able to come and participate as much, but we have been in communion with her. So we ask that you continue to, to pray for her. We thank God for Sister Blunt, who has been so graciously um, keeping up with the finance and keeping up with the money and we're grateful for her and for anybody else that participated we're grateful and we're thankful for your help and your support and we pray that God continue to bless you I believe Sister Rachel has something to say and then after Sister Rachel yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. Sister Cheryl she's saying you got something to say Sister Cheryl Okay, all right. She'll do a presentation, and after she's finished, um, Sister Flowers, Tracy Flowers, okay. will then have something to say, and then we'll turn it back into the pulpit. Hey, before we do the presentation, um, it is a great time for us. I know it's not a lot of time, but it would be nice to meet Sister Flowers and everybody. Fourth Sunday in October, you will hear us. It's fourth Sunday in October. Sorry, yeah. Rachel kind of talked a little bit about giving flowers to women before someone passed away. So we will be doing this every Sunday and um, we don't know who it's going to be. We just going to randomly pick a woman because every woman loves flowers. Amen. So this morning for me Two years ago, I was at my lowest point. And when I called this woman, she was always there for me. I kept her away from her husband. Two hours, three hours. So I'm calling Ms. Jada McCree. Ms. you helped me. Two years ago, I was at my lowest point, and I would call Jada, and she would come. She would sometimes come from work, and we'd be here two hours, three hours. And
two years ago, I don't know if I was going to live or die, but I said I shall live and not die. Amen. 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 Wednesday, I just celebrated my 58th birthday. So thank you, God, that I'm Amen. still here. Yes, Amen. Birthdays have came through, uh, but one really stood out to me, um, a dear lady before we, we shout out. Uh, I've been knowing her, I believe, almost all my life, and she turned 80. And she's in the back. Miss Mary. Amen.
So we say, and I say to you, we love you. Amen. Wish you many, many more. Amen. 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 That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Amen. Through all of the trials and tribulations and heartaches and pain, God is still a keeper. Amen. Amen. Even if you don't even want to be kept, God will keep you. I was reminded of something when I saw that a few days later, and then we'll give kudos to others. But uh, the guy on Facebook, and I know y'all probably have saw it before, but it says, regardless of what you go through and what you deal with, it's who hands is in. That's it. That's it. Somebody get that riding along. Somebody get that riding along. But when you're dealing with things and going through things, you put it in his hands. And the problems that we deal with, just remember, whose hands it is. And the way I turn out, I will come out. So again, happy 80th birthday. What a blessing. Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? Birthday is closing this, close this morning out. Amen. Me. Pray for him, amen. We had a birthday here yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, Adeline turned 10. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Amen. Someone else wants to see 10 again. <laughs> so, amen. Life is, life is, people say life is short. Life is precious. Amen. Amen. When you get to celebrate a birthday, you should live it to the most. Enjoy your day. And they come quick. You wake up in the morning, you say, this is my birthday today. And you look around again, the day is far spent. But it's, it's, so, it's a blessing to be able to know that you can celebrate another birthday. Amen. 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 Some will take pills, some will have little aches and pains. And then we all get those and we'll experience those sometimes in life. But it's a blessing to be able to celebrate another birthday. Anyone else? Anyone else? Xavier, we haven't forgot you. Again, happy birthday to you. All right. <laughs> Amen. Good man. He's been working by his house a few weeks back. I think he, he learned that power drill thing, so y'all watch him. Amen. Amen. So, and we thank you, praise God. Baby. Any guests? Any guests today? If you don't want to say, uh, speak up, just wave your hand. If you don't want to tell us where you're from. And, Amen. And if you do want to tell us where you are, this is your opportunity. Wave the hand thing. Just wave your hand. Just wave your hand. Yeah, she looked over and saw the other sister. Oh, that worked for me too. Amen. We thank and praise God. Amen. For everybody here, thank and praise God for the sharpest deacons on this side of heaven. Amen. 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 We're full staff, we're all here working in unity. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's continue to keep those that we know to keep in prayer uh, and just keep everyone lifted up. We know we're going into holidays now. Things are fast approaching. Can you believe it? It's almost the end of the year. Amen. 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 You'll start to see the pumpkin with the turkey and the, the Christmas lights and the snowman and you just don't know which way to turn and what the purpose of the snow. It's, it's all over the place. <laughs> but God is good. I'm, I'm, I'm a true test. When you start getting older, it seems like everything is moving fast. Like, God, slow down a little bit. Amen. A few months be another birthday, but God is good. And we thank and praise God for that. Amen. We had a high time here today. Sister Stephanie, we're glad to see you. Amen. Amen. You guys back here. church if you don't see you in a while, at least we're praying for you. If you don't reach out to Facebook, we're praying for you. And let me tell you about something to, to insert this in. When people come back, we ain't got to be nosy. Where you been? Where you, no, that's not that's not the concern. Are you okay? Those few little words mean a lot. Oh, you're okay. So we thank praise God for you and your daughter being back. You know some things have transpired, but hey, listen, God is still in control. And we thank and praise God for that. Amen. If we continue to be on the right track, and orchestrate this thing called Church the Right Way. 
the church and we as people can be blessed. Amen. 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 I love that, uh, Sister Cheryl, you and uh, Sister Rachel with that, uh, to give the flowers and present uh, people that help you along the way. Amen. My wife was the first recipient. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. Though. Beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers. So again, we give you kudos for that. Thank you for your time. Those that are going through challenging times again, Amen. Let us continue, Amen, to keep the Brown Sister Ella Brown. I keep saying that. Keep her in your prayers. Uh, and different ones that are going through things. Continue to pray for these children in school. We know it's just seems like it's out of hand. Let's just get every time you turn around, there's shootings, there's fights, there's video, and all this stuff. But we continue to be prayerful. God will turn all this stuff around. He's already turned it around. And we got to see it in advance. Amen? Amen. So we thank and praise God. Let us stand to our feet. Remember to get the word out this Wednesday. This Bible study next Wednesday. Wednesday is our start of our pastor's anniversary. Amen. Pre-anniversary. Thank you, praise God. Let's continue to keep these kids in our, in our prayers uh, as we go through this week and through, through their, uh, their childhood life. Amen? Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this appointed hour. We thank God for our communion that have took place here today. We pray, God, that any amongst us that was sick, God, after taking that we claim it and decree, God, that they are instantly healed. We know, God, you can do things that seem like that God is impossible. That's why we give them to you. We thank you, God, for the sick and the shedding. Pray for those, God, that don't even know you in the part of their sin. We ask you to have mercy on the day, God. Continue, God, as we go through this point of October. We pray, God, that you continue to bless all of us. Keep us, God. Strengthen us and watch over us. We pray, God, that our homes that we left today, God, to come into the house of worship. We pray, God, we return if we have sick mothers or fathers or children that we left behind. We pray, God, that you grant them, God, healing in the name of Jesus. Pray for our communities. Pray, God, that you bless our homes, God, from the front door to the back, to the side, to the other side, God, from the top to the bottom. We thank you for it today, God. We thank you, God, that you give us traveling mercy and arriving grace. Thank you, God, for all that you're doing. You continue to go into the prison, uh, prison bars, God, behind the prison walls. God, that you bless those that are incarcerated. Let them know, God, that you are a second chance, God. And we thank you for it today, God. God, if you bless us, we'll be blessed. If you keep us, we'll be kept. If you save us and deliver, we'll be saved and delivered. And God, for that, we say thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion, rest, rule, and abide, hence, now, and forevermore. And all God's people say, Amen.